Hey guys, it's Bia here and we're back with another video, another tutorial. I love making tutorials for you guys. So we're not making a sleeve this time. I'm actually going to start making videos about skirts and how um, you can make different types of skirts. Now this is the base of the base of the base. This is the most basic skirt you'll ever see. It's a full circle skirt. And actually, it might be the most simple, but to me, I think is my favorite because I just love the way you can spin wearing these skirts and it just you look like a princess <laughs> anyways anyways guys i'm gonna calm down uh so i'm going to make a full circle skirt for you guys to see i will show you how you can find out what the measurements are how to calculate it because you know guys i have a secret i love maths <laughs> I get so excited when someone tells me, all right, we're going to calculate something. I'm like, yes, please choose me. I want to do it. Anyways, so I'll show you how to make the pattern, how to calculate the measurements. And then, I, I mean, I will show you how to sew it. I don't think you guys need to see how to sew it, but I'll do it anyways, because I like showing every single part of the um the process and every single step because when i uh was searching things in the beginning when i was starting to study on my first year of fashion design i found that certain videos either they had really bad lighting or they um just didn't explain things properly or they just showed half of the steps and i was like where's the rest i want to see how to do everything from the beginning to the end so i really believe that everyone should get a proper video on how to make things with the proper instructions and proper lighting and proper everything so i'm gonna make it happen for you guys anyways um i hope you guys are ready don't forget you're going to need your paper you're going to need your <laughs> You're going to need your pattern and you're going to need your pattern master which is here and the pencil and the rubber and the fabric and that's it i mean the rest you already know sewing machine you know if you're gonna make it anyways um let's get started actually wait wait before we get started let me tell you guys don't forget to follow me on social media don't forget to follow my instagram and tiktok um i post on those every single day so if you want to see things from me every single day um if, if it's something funny because that's usually what happens on tiktok my cat and my lights keep moving uh if it is on tiktok is usually funny and it's fashion tips and styling tips and um on instagram it's usually projects i'm working on so it can be my for example this is up my threads um so i've been okay i've been working on this for ages and i have not finished as you can see guys this is some embroidery i've been working on and if you want to see daily updates of other things i've been doing this jacket i'm not going to show you the other side i'm going to let you guys find out for yourselves when you uh check on my instagram so things i post on there every single day projects collaborations i'm starting to do collaborations with people anyways you can follow those if you want i'll leave the links in the description i'll leave the links to um everything you need because i always um make sure that you guys have everything and yeah let's get started bye so you need to start by having your calculations done obviously or else you can't make your skirt without having to guess and then getting things wrong okay so don't get scared by what i'm currently showing you it's okay don't worry i'm going to explain everything um it doesn't matter if you're not amazing at maths i know you can do it okay just listen to me and pay be patient also this pdf will be available in the link in the description so if you are interested in downloading it and keeping it for your own records if you keep it for later you can download it for free i provide it for you okay so first thing you're going to notice is that we're having a, a few different models with different skirts this is the full circle skirt which is the one i'll be making today there's other types as the half circle there's the quarter circle there's the double circle and there's the three quarters you can always do uh, triple circle <laughs> you know you can do whatever you want you can make it bigger or smaller obviously there's a point where you can't make it smaller because you won't fit into your skirt unless you're just a little a stick but you know you do whatever you want i'm just saying 
you can make this as big as you want you can make it three four five circles um, you're free to do what you want uh, so first thing you're going to need to do if you're doing the full circle skirt is you're going to use this formula so if using any other one you use the formula I provide which is the one at the bottom okay so if you use this one you choose the one underneath not this one this is like the before I work it out and this is after I work it out Manip I manipulated the equation to make it simpler because all we need to find out is R for those so first step you're going to do is you're going to measure yourself or measure whoever you're making this for so if you're making this for an old woman or for a child or for someone like whichever size or age you are this will work it doesn't matter it's not just for adults okay you just need to follow the instructions so the desired length of the skirt is one of the measurements you're going to need and the measurement of the waist now for the example today i'm going to make a skirt for myself i have 70 centimeters around my waist and then i wanted a 60 centimeter length for my skirt so I first thing I need to do is I'm going to note these down as you can see on the screen we have the waist measurement which is the one I just spoke about plus two centimeters equals to C so C is going to be our waist measurement okay so on your paper you're going to type C equals to waist measurement I'm going to show it to you guys here I don't know if this is still on or not um c is the waist measurement and then the one that the other one that you measured which is the length is going to be the total length of desired skirt okay and that's going to be the one that you want so minus 60 yours might be less or might be more you know it's whatever you want i'm just trying to make my uh pen work because for some reason my graphics tablet is not helping me today we're having lots of technical difficulties, uh, but to just stand by and listen to my beautiful voice. <laughs> um, so yeah, as I said, um, yeah, finally this is working. So, total radius of the skirt, I'm going to write this out for you guys to see. I got my um, Photoshop file here. So, as we said before, my C... Oh, my computer's slow today... Oh. Okay, so we have C and my C equals to um, two centimeters plus the um, amount I was, which was 70 centimeters. Okay, and that's going to equal to 72 centimeters for C. Oh, this is so slow today. Oh my gosh, why is this happening? Hmm. I'm just trying to make it easier for myself. I'm going to make it less resolution. So we can, this can work faster. Okay. All right. I think it's not as good quality here, but I'll, I think it will write much quicker. Kind of. So. We have 72 centimeters here and we're going to need to do um, the other one which was the desired length which was 60 okay and then we have other measurements we, which we don't know yet and one of them is l which is the big l is the total radius of the skirt and this one is the final measurement which we're going to use to make it don't worry about those yet okay next step you're going to need is you need to um choose your uh skirt that you want mine is this one so i'm going to use c over 2 pi equals to r okay i'm going to come back here so i'm going to say c which you already have c 72 and i think it said over 2 pi pi equals to r okay so i already know because i just calculated it beforehand 
72 over 2 pi. 2 pi, you can calculate this on your phone. You also you have pi in the options. Okay, so my r is going to be equals to 11.46. Now I'm going to round it up to 11.5 because I want it to be a more clear measurement. So 11.5 it is. Okay, it's going to be easier for me. Um, this is my R. Now I can use this for my next step. Okay, don't forget to keep these measurements written down on your paper. So R equals to 11.5, L equals to 60, and uh, C equals to 72. This is my waist measurement, my uh, length and my uh, radius, my small radius. Where is my thing? Okay, so we just calculated this measurement here, R. Can you guys see? Small R, we have C and we have L. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to find out what's this big L. So from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. So to find out what L is, you're going to be, need to add the small R and this L here, as I've written here, R, small r, plus small l equals big L. So the radius plus the length you want equals the big L. So that's our next step. So you're going to add them up. So mine is going to be 11.5 plus, if this worked faster, it would be great, plus, um, what is it? So you have small r plus l, so plus 60. Okay, that's going to give us our, our length for that one. So that's 71.5, okay, centimeters. And this is equal to the big length that we want. Okay. And by the way, guys, if I'm just remembered, I just remembered something, so, if you are going to use a different length than the ones I provided, you can always use this formula here. And then that trans transforms into this. So you can add n in here. So 2 times pi times n. The n is the number that you want. So if you wanted the triples, this is a double circle, so you would have put a 2 here. So if you wanted the triple, like 3 of these circles, you have to add the 3 in here. If you wanted 4, you add the 4 in here. So you'd do... 4 times pi times 2, and then do the C, which is your circumference, divided by that number, which is going to give you your R, just in case you guys wanted that. If This is if you want a more ruffled and fuller skirt. That's what you do uh, when you're increasing, okay? Uh, back to what I was saying, I don't want to get you guys more confused, is that um, after you find your L, which is your big length here, you have just figured out um, basically most of the work. So I'm just going to show you guys here. I have a very ugly circle. And you uh, just figured out what is it from the edge here to the center of the circle here. Okay. That's the length we just calculated. Now... If you think about it, if we're going to cut this out, you guys are going to need to cut out a big circle, the whole thing. So, which would be in like a rectangular fabric or, um, like, or like a square. I know this is a very bad sketch. My computer is very slow at the moment. Um, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to calculate the full length from this side to this side, which is the diameter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I'm going to call that full length from the top to the bottom, big R, which is also in here, in your paper. See? R. So what we need to do is we need to do R. Um, what we need to do is you need to do the L, which we just found out, plus 2 centimeters. This is the seam allowance, okay, for the end, uh, for the hem of the skirt. Um, and then you need to multiply these by 2 because it's two sides. So, um, I'm going to show you guys how I did it. So, this is R. 
okay um, so r equals to um, 2 times by the whole thing inside of this which is your um, l which we just got 71.5 Okay, um, so fifty one point five plus two centimeter allowance. Okay, and that's going to give us our full length. So let's just put that in there. I'm going to calculate this. You can do this on your phone, do this first, and then multiply it by two. So what I got on mine was 147, I think. Um, let me just double check. So 71.5 times, I mean, sorry, plus 2. And then multiply that by 2. Yeah, 147. So now I know that my length all the way from here to here is 147. So when I'm cutting out of fabric, I will know that I need a fabric that goes... 147 from here to here some fabric stores don't sell fabric that is um like you sometimes you find ones that have a roll that goes like 150 centimeters from one side to the other and some are less so um you need to double check that um when you're doing this okay but don't worry about that um for now so this is your full length from this side to this side and now when you are going to start cutting off your paper your pattern paper you're going to start by doing a big um, square okay and that big square is going to have the two sides uh, measuring 147 so this side of the square is going to measure 147 and this side is going to measure 147 and this is the R okay this is the full length after that okay you're going to um, uh, essentially you're going to fold this into four parts so you're going to like fold it that way and then fold that that way and you're going to have it all as one small square like this okay i'm going to use a different color to show you so when you fold it all together you're going to have a smaller smaller square okay so what you do then is you're going to have to um start drawing your circle so obviously then you have the circle going like this all the way around don't cut anything before you draw it and you know that it's drawn properly so you have this whole measurement here i would advise you uh, measure from this point to this point so the amount of measurement that you have from here to here, make sure it's also from here to here. Like the radius all the way around has to be the same on your circle from the center to the edge. My measurement um, on that is um, basically R divided by 2. So 147 divided by 2 on me is uh, 73.5. So from here to here, I need to make sure that this from here to here is measuring... Um, 73.5 or from here to here or from here to here for him from, from this whole side so everything needs to uh, be measuring from the center to the um, outer edge um, 73.5 after you make sure that everything is nice and even then you can cut out the edge and because it's all folded together when you unwrap it the whole thing should give you a proper circle a perfect circle basically and this is already including the two centimeter uh, seam allowance, so you don't have to add it. You can draw it within, you can draw it like inside of it, but you don't have to. So you already know that it's done for you. The next step after that is that when you have this whole uh, circle, um, after you double check, you can fold it back in the way it was again, back to the same point. And you're going to need to do the center. Don't forget, you need to fit inside of this. So by you have your little circle, whatever, you need to make sure that someone is going to be inside of the skirt. So we need to cut out the center here so that our little person can uh, fit within it. 
Okay, so for example, me, if that was me, I'm going to just draw a little person in there. And my computer's slow. My computer is slow. Wow, wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, so you need to make sure you cut this hole in time. So how you're going to do this is you're going to go back to your uh, initial measurements. Remember you had R. And R was our measurement from the inside here. So that's where our person is inside of. As you can see, the colors are matched together. So you're going to measure from the center to the edge. Do the same thing that I did for the big circle, the small, the small circle. So the R measurement. My R measurement, I think, was 11 point something, 11.5. So I'm going to measure 11.5 from here to the edge. From to that side, which is probably where it would go, 11.5. Do the same thing here, 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 everywhere. Obviously, this is all in one little square, so you just have to measure like this point, this point, and this point, and then match them up together and draw a nice curve. After you make sure this is done evenly, you can cut it ag again, and then when you open up, you have your beautiful um, full skirt. You have your circle on the outside with the small circle inside and this should fit you perfectly if you want to test if it fits you you should do a little cut so i would advise doing like a, a cut on one of the sides and then try and put it around you and see if it fits how you want it to fit okay if there's any problems and you feel like it's too tight then that means you need to make this circle slightly just a little bit bigger if it's too loose then that means you made this too big and you need to make it a bit smaller but if you use the measurements correctly you should get it perfectly done for yourself and that's um how you do it i'm just going to do a live demonstration now uh, to show you guys how i did it and yeah i hope you enjoy it if you have any questions about this calculation, make sure you leave it in the comments below. Um, I tried to make it as understandable as possible. I have the equations here for you guys to see. There's explanations here as well, which I made. So if there's anything you are unsure of, you can always double check it here. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to now show you in real life because I'm going to sew it for you. So guys, um, I'm going to start by measuring out the, um, the things that I said before. And I realized that actually my paper is one meter uh, long. So I'm going to have to do half of the skirt because it will or else it won't fit. So. Uh, since I had, uh, I think it was 147 centimeters. Let me just double check on my paper because I have it written here. Uh, 100, yeah, 147. I'm going to do half of it, which is 73.5 centimeters. And then I will do that uh, 75, uh, 73.5 centimeters by 147. Essentially making half of the um, entire square that I spoke about before. The next step will be cutting it out and um, I'm just going to show you guys real quick. Uh, now after you cut out your rectangle or square whatever you're gonna have to fold it. I Let me just get rid of my extra paper. Okay, now that I have my rectangle I'm going to fold it in half. Um, exactly in half i'm sure it, you guys remember which measurement it was it was like 70 something 0.1 centimeters um oh my god i want to sneeze ah. <sighs> sorry guys um so after you make sure everything is nice and folded properly you are going to measure so the side measurement is the measurement you're going to have all the way around so that 74.1 centimeters or whatever I had measured, I'm going to make sure using my ruler that it's going to be the same measurement all the way around in the skirt. So I'm going to um, rotate it around, okay, in like a circular motion uh, from the point, from the edge point. And I'm going to mark it at the top, so lining it up, and I'm going to give it a few markings around it from that same point. 
and this is going to ensure that the circle is uh, going to come out perfectly and evenly okay um, after you make these measurements you're going to join the lines and then you're going to do the same thing for the inner skirt so the measurement that you had initially which was R uh, you're going to use that to um, make use it as like a radius from the center point of your uh, half circle and then you're going to cut it so this is going to be where your waist is going to go from the beginning okay and then cut everything from the outside as well all right and that's pretty much it for cutting and obviously you have to cut this out twice because if like for example mine is meant to be a full skirt and obviously this is going to only do half of my body okay so when i'm cutting out in fabric i'm gonna have to do it twice so yeah guys um i saw the whole thing i did not record the sewing process but i hope you enjoy guys it's Bia here and this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching by the way those last shots Maya took the shots they were so nice and she took all my pictures for this uh, skirt if you enjoyed the tutorial make sure you leave a thumbs up and you subscribe there will be uh, the Kylie Jenner video coming soon as well and yeah um, I'm gonna take this do you want anything too. yeah she's gonna take the pictures as well she took the nicest pictures I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.